Uncle Howdy is back with even more teasers that confirms one of his members. We'll also check out what's going on with Dominic Mysterio, The Judgment Day, and more. Let's start things off with the latest developments for The Judgment Day, as well as Liv Morgan and Dominic Mysterio. It was just over a month ago when WWE showed the big moment of Dominic and Liv coming face to face with each other backstage on Raw. And ever since that moment took place, there's been no progression to the story taking place front and center of the camera. But the story has been progressing very softly and quietly in the background of other segments and other moments. Such as Dominic and Liv sneaking out of the same room in the background of Jay Uso's interview and other little background things like that. Well, the background story progression continued this week with another very interesting and telling moment. In a backstage clip, Finn Balor can be seen exiting a vehicle, and then moments later, Lib Morgan is seen exiting the same exact vehicle that Finn Balor just jumped out of. So, this falls right into the category of what we saw a few weeks back, where Liv exited the same room that Dominic was in. Now we see her once again exiting the same place that a Judgment Day member was just in. Seeing Liv and Finn get out of the same car has confused fans a bit, making them wonder if Liv is actually forming a relationship with Finn Balor instead of Dominic Mysterio. And that's a good question to ask. The segment definitely makes you lean and think in that direction. But it could also be meant to show us that Liv Morgan is maybe becoming so friendly with the Judgment Day members that she's now traveling on the road with some of the members. A romantic relationship between Liv and Finn would be a shocker, and they do have history together from the time they teamed up in 2022. But it just seems like more crazy story progression can obviously come from a Liv and Dominic relationship, rather than a Finn and Liv relationship. Liv's main goal is to make Rhea's life a complete nightmare and take everything away from Rhea. That's why it makes a lot of sense for Liv to steal Dominic away from Rhea Ripley, because Rhea truly cares and loves Dominic. Like we said from the first week this story started, Liv doesn't even actually have to be interested in Dominic. This could just all be a ploy to take everything away from Rhea Ripley. So that's why it seems more logical for Liv to heavily try and tempt Dominic into this affair, so that she can ruin the relationship between Rhea and Dominic. What's interesting and unclear about this car moment is if Finn and Liv actually ever saw each other in the car at the same time. Maybe the car belonged to the entire Judgment Day and after Finn left, maybe Dominic and Liv met in the car privately with just the two of them. If that's the case, then Finn Balor is completely innocent and left out of the loop on this. But if Finn Balor willingly allowed Liv Morgan to travel with him and gave her a ride to Raw, it's still a pretty bad look on Finn. Because the same thing we've been saying about Dominic would also apply to Finn. Liv Morgan single-handedly took out one of your faction members and put them on the shelf. So no member of the Judgment Day should be running at the opportunity to help out Liv in any way at all. She destroyed such a pivotal member of the group, and now all the Judgment Day members are being seen with Liv Morgan every week? It's just a really strange look for the Judgment Day members. And it does really make you wonder if they're all on Liv's side. So that's how Finn Balor and Dominic Mysterio have been indirectly seen with Liv Morgan. JD McDonough seems out of the loop on this situation, and Damian Priest appears to be innocent for the time being as well. Considering that Liv Morgan and Dominic have already slipped on several occasions, fans think that it's only a matter of time before the secret really blows up in everyone's face, and Damian Priest finds out that Liv Morgan has been sneaking around the group for a long time. And that will be very interesting to see how Damian Priest, as the undisputed leader of the group, handles this situation of an enemy infiltrating the Judgment Day. Will he be okay with the Judgment Day members hanging out with Liv Morgan? Or will this be something that makes him once again lose his mind with the group? Like we also saw in the same edition of Raw, Damian Priest isn't exactly on good terms with the Judgment Day right now. They've been doing so much losing, dropping big matches, and even coming up short in so many ways that Damien said that he didn't even recognize the group anymore and walked out of the room. So the Judgment Day is really in enough hot water with Damien Priest. So let him find out about how they all apparently have cool friendships with Lib Morgan, and that really should make him lose it. 
As far as things go with Liv Morgan's perspective of this whole situation, it clearly seems like everything that's been happening over the last few weeks is just her executing a big manipulative scheme that she's coming up with. It appears that Liv's plan is slowly to warm up the Judgment Day members, Dominic especially, to help her get her foot in the door with the group. And once they warm up to her, Liv Morgan most likely will want a spot in the Judgment Day. And once she gets to the part of her plan, this mission will basically be accomplished. If the Judgment Day lets Liv Morgan into the group, it's a big slap in the face to Rhea Ripley and makes it impossible for Rhea to rejoin the group when she returns. But if the group can't come to a decision about letting Liv join, then maybe that'll cause a big divide in the group. Meaning that Liv would still win in that case because it was because of her that the Judgment Day grew apart and got divided. So Liv absolutely just wants to cause chaos. She wants to join the group, destroy it, and steal Dominic, all just to get back at Rhea Ripley. Dominic was even approached about Liv Morgan rumors during a recent appearance on The Masked Man Show, and he had this to say in response to those rumors, quote, I think at the end of the day, everyone is innocent till proven guilty, and I'm just, I'm here protecting Rhea, and I'm trying to make sure she's good when she comes back and that everything is all set in order. She comes back straight to the top, take her title back, no harm, no foul, end quote. So quite the interesting response from Dominic, but he's right. Even though there's been several things over the last few weeks that tie Dominic and Liv together, they've been covering it up so well that there is no solid evidence yet. We'll have to see if that changes though in the coming weeks. Uncle Howdy's teasers from the May 20th edition of Raw featured lots of more confirmations for the group. After filling out a survey, you're led to a page that says, we'll meet them soon. And underneath the word soon is a series of more hints and clues. One of those clues is literally a part of the logo that Bray Wyatt was using when he returned in 2022. There's also other audio clips and distorted pictures and videos. There was even another teaser that mentioned Rowan University, which is most definitely a reference and nod to Eric Rowan, who's expected to join Uncle Howdy in this new group. Dexter Loomis was even photographed recently at his wrestling school with a whole new look and long beard. Dexter's also expected to be a part of Howdy's family, so it looks like the new long beard will officially be a part of his Wyatt family look. The Raw teaser also alluded to the idea that even more teasers will be dropping in the middle of the week. So there's a lot to look forward to there. But what are your thoughts on today's stories? Leave your comments below, don't forget to subscribe with all notifications on, and leave a like if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, guys.